Hey everyone, today I'm going to take you through three of my favourite pieces of coffee brewing equipment that I use either at home, when I'm travelling, or when I'm camping. G'day everyone, Luke from Artistic Coffee Roasters here and I want to share with you um, my three favourite um, brewing pieces of equipment. Now the question I always get asked is what do I use and how do I brew it? So I'm here at my house and I wanted to just show you um, yeah, what I use wherever I am. Obviously coffee is a big part of my life and I do love to enjoy it and share it. So there's a couple of different places we do that. Obviously um, at home, which I have a Lamazocco Lineo Mini, which I'll take you through in a second. Um, and then I have something that is for more portable coffee, um, which would be our AeroPress. And if I'm camping, you know, out in the bush, and I really want that cappuccino or milk style coffee, and I know people that are gonna enjoy that that are camping with me, I'd head to the Atomic. It's an old classic, um, but it does allow us to do that cafe style coffee when you're just on a gas cooker. So to start, the key thing about brewing coffee is having great coffee. And I have the luxury of picking the coffee that I like to enjoy. Um, at the moment, I've got some single origin Mr. Your Seed. Um, this is a great product um, at the moment. Uh, I don't know if it's available, but we're definitely gonna look for another run on that one, keep an eye out for it. So starting with good fresh roasted coffee is a key. I'm gonna go now and have a look at the AeroPress. And this is what we would be using for traveling. So if I'm going on a plane, um, if I'm staying in a hotel, um, or doing a bit of a hike or a quick overnight sort of camping trip, um, the AeroPress is always with me. Um, this one I've had for a while, um, you can see it's a little bit worn out, but you know you can buy parts for them, they're really easy to use. Um, I do always run with a metal filter, I love a metal filter. For me, it's a bit cleaner, it's a bit crisper. I don't have to worry about the paper as well because if I am camping, um, I've got to then try and find somewhere to put that wet paper filter. Um, I do usually make this up um, with a nice sort of almost 30% coffee to water brew. And I usually, if I've got some milk, just do a little dash of milk. Um, or if not, it's just a good old black, enjoying that uh, lovely taste that comes through from the single origin coffee. Coupled with that is going to be um, a keep cup because you do need a nice solid cup to ooh, pop the top off and, and brew on and press on. So when you're camping or, or you know out and about a takeaway cup is just not going to do it. So I always take a, a keep cup with me. And then I've always got a little hand grinder. So this one is just a you know entry level hand grinder. Um, it's pretty cool. It's got an attachment there that allows us to go straight onto the AeroPress. So you can basically take the little catch cup out. You can stick the attachment on the bottom of the grinder. And you can grind straight into the actual AeroPress. So it's really easy. There's not much fuss happening there. Um, and nice and portable. And in the top, actually there's some really old beans. I probably wouldn't use those ones. Pick yourself some nice fresh beans. They're, they're remnants there from my last trip. Um, but yeah, pop the beans in the top and grind away um, according to your brew device. So that's definitely um, always traveling with me wherever I go. So my top tip for when you're traveling with an AeroPress is it is a bit hard to take a big amount of coffee. Um, if you know you're gonna go for a two day trip, um, and you've got your brew recipe all set up, make sure you weigh out the amount of coffee that you need. Um, you can probably put a couple of different Ziploc bags if you really wanted to. Um, what that allows you with the AeroPress is you can fold it up and pop that coffee inside. So it's a real great space saver. It keeps it nice and fresh and it's very, very compact Ugh. for you to go traveling if you need to. So very, very small, compact and great coffee wherever you're going. So the other product I want to talk about is the Atomic. Um, this one I actually got about eight years ago. I searched for a long time to find one in the condition I wanted. Um, I polished it up, refurbed it, 
and it's been with me ever since. Um, it's great for the milk-based coffee. Um, you can do quite a big uh, brew of espresso-style coffee and have the steamer attachment with it. It's a pressure vessel. You just fill it with water. Um, you're locking your handle after some fresh ground coffees in there. Um, once it's extracted the coffee, it's going to build up the pressure and give you the steam. You can get out and pour beautiful latte out style coffees anywhere you're camping. So to me, I just love being able to share this experience with anyone I'm camping with. So my most loved piece of coffee equipment that I have is my Lumazoko Linear Mini. I've had that since they first came out. I think it was maybe four years ago. Um, I got a black matte option. Um, it was pretty cool you know, in the time frame. I'm looking at you know, making a few little mods with them. Um, they are amazing because you can, you know, personalize these as much as you like. Um, I run a naked water filter um, with a 21 gram VST basket in there. Um, I've got this little jug, which funnily enough, it's just a plain jug, but it's one of the first matte black jugs you could get on the market. I think I've had that for maybe seven or eight years and made so many coffees on it. And I just love it. I use it every day. Um, I'm a fan of um, the tulip cups, so I normally use something like that. 150 ml, put a nice double ristretto in it, and a little bit of milk, um, a cooler cup of milk, or like a 55 degree sort of style latte. That's my go-to morning cup of coffee. Um, and I'd use the same one for my espressos for the rest of the day, which are gonna be a long black. Um, it's just a great ratio to have. Um, at the moment, I've got just a little basic $650 automatic grinder. Um, because this space is very tight and it just fits in nicely. It allows the family to have great coffee. Uh, it's an automatic dosing grinder. Um, just a Chinese made one, but it seems to be bulletproof. I'm really happy with it. Basic 60 buck tamper, tamp mat to protect the bench, which is always uh, important. Um, you've got to have a nice size paintbrush. Um, that really allows you to keep everything clean. So I use one of them and yeah, just got a little knock tube. Um, now I put an organic style, um, environmentally friendly, friendly bag in there so that we don't have to keep washing them out. That's a good little tip if you want to uh, you know, keep it neat and tidy or be able to take it out to your compost nice and easy. Um, yeah, I love it. This machine doesn't turn off, stays on all the time. Um, we make a lot of tea out of it. And I've got the temperature, because it is controllable on this machine, um, set at about 91 degrees. So I like that for my my black coffee and our espressos, it suits really well, so. So there you have it guys. There are my three favorite pieces of equipment that I use um, wherever I am making coffee. Uh, there's a couple of pieces here that I love um, that I've had with me for some time. They may not be amazing, but they're definitely special to me. So I'd love to hear what you think is special to you. Shoot us a picture or even a little video, chuck it in the comments below about your love for coffee. I'd love to see it and share it with everyone else. Make sure you subscribe guys and hit the little bell button and you'll be notified about all the new videos that are coming up. We'd love to hear from you. See you later. Have a great day.